everybody a good Saturday morning taking a look at what's going on in the tropics still looking at two storms Grace and Henri but Grace actually made a second landfall earlier this morning around 1 a.m. Central Time along the coast of Mexico and it was a major hurricane when it made landfall with winds of 125 miles per hour and also Grace is the first major hurricane so far for the 2021 Atlantic hurricane season. Now, Henri continues to head to the northeast, and as of right now, significant rainfall is expected uh, along the coastal New England areas and storm surge between three to five feet for those areas. But we'll go ahead and talk about Hurricane Grace first. Right now, it has winds of 90 miles per hour, but notice the wind gust. We're looking at category three status wind gusts, 130 miles per hour, and it is moving to the west southwest at 14 miles per hour. So it's still a category one hurricane throughout the rest of the day. It is going to produce heavy rain and strong winds already produced a dangerous storm surge when it made landfall earlier this morning. Now the latest track takes it through Mexico and it is it is expected to lose its strength as it moves over land eventually weakening into a remnant low as we head into early tomorrow morning. Not a threat to southeast Louisiana. It will stay far away from us. Now, as we take a look at Tropical Storm Henri, still pretty organized as it meanders through the Atlantic Ocean. It's nearing hurricane status. We have winds of 70 miles per hour with wind gusts of 85 miles per hour, and it is moving to the north northeast at 12 miles per hour. Now, the latest projected path it is expected to become a hurricane later on this afternoon with winds of 80 miles per hour, and it's going to hold on to its category one hurricane status as approaches the coastal New England areas early tomorrow morning. Again, it's going to bring flooding rain and dangerous storm surge to those areas as we approach Sunday and then eventually making that eastward turn into Canada. Again, not a threat to us, but just keep in mind many of those states up north, they were dealing with Fred. So again, the ground is super saturated, so flooding becomes a uh, big problem in those areas. So as you take a look at the tropical models, pretty good consensus taking it up north. Again, making landfall somewhere along the New England coastal areas. Again, we're looking at significant rainfall and life threatening storm surge in those areas. And because of that, a hurricane warning is in effect for many of those areas through the weekend. So again, those are the only two systems we are tracking right now. Other than that, Southeast Louisiana, there are no tropical threats.